you have a fucking insane schedule. You're, you, I mean, I know a lot of people with insane schedules, but yours might be at the top of the list. Mm. You're right up there with anybody. <laughs> I don't know how you maintain all of the things that you do and still have energy. Mm. Yeah. What I try to do is try to schedule my day as best as I can. And, you know, when you're busy, and all of us are busy in our own way, so I really try to make sure that I'm paying attention to the schedule, I'm really looking at it, and then I'm going to take a fine-tooth comb through it and go, not that, not that, because mm -hmm. it's easy just to say, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, this thing right. is for 10 minutes, Joe. Can you? Do yeah, okay, I'll right. do it. And before you know it, all it's that shit, hour. it's an yeah. hour, and then it's two yeah. hours and all that. So I really try to make sure that I'm looking at the schedule and try to be smart about the moves these days. And I also learned, man, there's just power in saying no. Yeah. No, you I'm gotta not do it have you time yes you time is important like you can't uh, one of the things i always tell everybody discipline is really important but also enthusiasm is really important like in th that's right i tell these guys with comedy yeah. if you feel burnt out take some days off yes there's no harm in that like you want enthusiasm there's like something about being enthusiastic with comedy and i think with a lot of things like you want to have that you don't want it to be a drudgery that's right yeah. Yeah. You don't want it to be a, a colonoscopy. You want to go in there. Yeah. You want to like have really, a good time and you yeah. want to appreciate it. And sometimes when you, you overdo things, you just don't feel that enthusiastic about them. So you got to balance it out. But again, it's an education. So you got to do it the wrong way. And they go, okay, what did I fuck up? And learn from it. Yeah. Dude, I always say with enthusiasm, you can really move mountains. Yeah. Right? You can yeah. really move mountains with enthusiasm because it starts with that. Mike Tyson had a great phrase. He said, discipline is doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it. Mm. That's real discipline. Yeah, like, that is. That's. I mean, that. W that's what made Mike Tyson. Yes. You know, and the. You know, the proof is in the result. But that's that's real. If you could just force yourself into being enthusiastic about everything, even shit you don't want to do, like you got to do hill sprints. You're like fuck you, we're yes. doing these fucking hill sprints. <laughs> fucking get Let's after go. it. Let's yes. go. Yeah, and then you get excited, and then then it becomes something stimulating yes. instead of a drudgery. You know what it is too? It's that thing where I think like you learn about, especially when it comes to training and that that kind of thing, where it's either you look at it like oh, fuck, this is something I gotta do, or I get to do. Mm hmm. Like, yeah. Like I, get to I, do. I get to do it, man. Yeah. What a privilege this is. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are like seriously ill and injured and they can't do it. God, they would wish they'd fucking give anything to be able to do it. One more time. Yeah. That's right. And we're right. lucky. We're lucky as shit. Anybody right now that's able bodied and hears this is lucky as fuck. Lucky, man. Just lucky. Lucky and privileged. I always yeah, say that. Super lucky. For sure. And if you can just keep that in your mind, that's the problem. People get just accustomed to whatever they have. And then, and then they want more, they're not satisfied, but gratitude is mm. so important. I know it's one of those hippie crystal fucking wooden beads <laughs> things that annoys the shit. Because, you, you know, you hear it from the wrong people. Attitude of gratitude. And, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. certain things that get co-opted by the wrong, like the word God, I think, is the same way. It's, yeah. like it's co-opted by some people, and then people have this negative association with it. But I think gratitude is one of those. It's, it, it is real, and it's really important. And if you could just appreciate Appreciate your friends and appreciate your life and appreciate people and appreciate what you get to do. You can fucking change your whole tone of existence. You change Life. the frequency you exist on. How, where you yeah. vibrate. Yeah. You can change, man. You change that. people around you, too, because they get excited by it. Yeah, that's right. It, affect, it affects them, That's too. what I love to do with these guys. I get to, excited. We're having fun. We're yeah. exercising, but we're all having a... Gr we're all laughing. We're oh, having dude. a great time. Yeah. It was fun. They were looking over at you. They're like, are we fucking working out with The Rock? <laughs> Shane kept going. He kept like nudging me. Like, dude, we're working working out with the rock <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck it was awesome it was awesome man. it was awesome but enthusiasm and appreciation it's like those are key concepts in life and even if you're not where you want to be in life and you're grinding and you're on that hustle and there's a lot I, of people like i get that, it right? I, yeah, get I get it, it. keep grinding get, but also appreciate it appreciate that hustle appreciate this thing appreciate this fucking beautiful chaotic uh, unknown existence you're in the thing we call life yeah that you know yeah. you don't know what the fuck is going to happen it's open-ended it's why it's yes, a man it's a complete open loop experience you don't know what the fuck is coming next and you're just trying to enjoy the ride you have no fucking idea no idea it's a thing <laughs> Man, when you think about it, it's like um, 
and I feel like I want to know about you too here. I feel like it was a learn thing. Like, I, I, yeah. of course, the concept of, oh, gratitude, sure. I'm a, I felt like I'm a pretty grateful guy. But once I started realizing that a lot of the shit that I was trying to get after, and there's the North Star, there's that thing, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it's always there. But really, the shit that matters most is the stuff that's right here. Yeah, yeah. Like right in front of us. Yes. You know, this thing, life, family, loved one, mm -hmm. kid, whatever it is, job even, you know. And sometimes if you concentrate on the North Star too much, you don't even enjoy it. That's right. You don't even enjoy the whole experience. Of, of being present. Yeah, be, of enjoying the ride, enjoying the fucking journey. I mean, that's another thing. You know, it's, it's about the journey. Ooh. <laughs> People have fucked up that expression, but it's real. Yes, it yeah. is really about the journey. Yeah, it's just hard when you're grind when you when you're not where you want to be in life, and you, if you're listening to this and you, you're just not satisfied with your position in life, it's hard to to think that way. You, all you want is that thing, but you gotta somewhere along the line figure out how to enjoy yourself. Somewhere along the line, figure out how to just go as hard as you can, but also enjoy it. Try to enjoy it because that changes the whole tone of the experience. And I think that makes you more successful. I really do because I think you have more energy, you have more focus, and you collect better energy around you from other people. They, they feel your energy. They, 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 they're inspired by the way you live your life and how you treat people and what you do and how you do things. And they want to do a similar thing. They want to mm -hmm. do something that makes them feel th that way. And they want other people to feel that way as well. And it's got the butterfly effect. It just, it just goes through all the people that are around you. Uh, brother, it's like, it's, it's like attracts like. It's, it's that thing, yeah. right? It's that thing, man, especially if you're grinding. And you're right. There's a lot of people out there who are just fucking busting their ass mm -hmm. and un unhappy. You and I were both in that place at one time. We were like, mm -hmm. fuck, I don't like the position I'm in. I want yep. more. I want something more. But this idea of, but I'm going to try and enjoy it. But I got to tell you, it wasn't, uh, and I want to know about you too, like earlier on in my career, I felt like it's the grind that we love and sink our teeth into and just fucking go and get after it. But I wasn't having fun. Yeah. But man, that time when it switched in my mind, like, oh, wait, like exactly what you're saying. Let me enjoy this now. Because I've worked hard to get here, wherever mm -hmm. this thing is, just like everybody else. But this idea, like, let's have fun while we're doing it along the way. And you're right. It has that butterfly effect. It, it affects other people and it attracts other people. Before you know it, everybody's vibrating at this great place with enthusiasm. Yeah. And excitement and fun. I realized when I was young, I got a development deal for uh, Disney when I